So tonight, a morning mess in a Norfolk neighborhood. A water main bursts, the street opens up, and someone now has to buy a new car in the new year. This happened mid-morning on Fisherman's Road near East Bayview Boulevard. The process to get things back to normal is still going on. 10 on your side's Asia Tolliver now with a live update. Asia. Well, Chris, we're out here, and right now they still have some crews out here cleaning things up. Um, they put up some barriers so that people don't, you know, fall near where that huge sinkhole was. But it's really just been a mess all day and caused a serious problem for one of the drivers. Everything was flooded, all the streets. You couldn't really, you couldn't walk in the streets or the sidewalks. Everything was flooded. Neighbors who live off Fisherman's Road in Ocean View woke up to no water after a severe water main break. Mary Q with the Department of Utility says this is all credited to an old pipe bursting. She says the pipe was from 1945 and in general this area has old infrastructure. While some people here weren't able to take a shower this morning, one woman no longer has a car. It was swallowed up when the road buckled from all the water. I looked and saw a woman basically trapped in the middle of the road. Um, water rushing around her everywhere. She's in a total state of panic. Ari Lawrence, who lives just up the road, saw it all and ran to help. First thing is assess the, the person, make sure that she's okay, and then um, she was okay. And then my my thought was the car's probably going to go down farther, so get her away from it, and then um, just make sure nobody else is in the car and deal with it all later. Just make sure everybody's safe. The car was pulled out around 12.30 p.m. He says several cars went through what looked like a puddle, but the road collapsed under her and water began pouring in on the passenger side. I spoke to the driver who didn't want to go on camera. She's shaken up, but not hurt. Lawrence says he was glad he was there in her time of need, but the city needs to take responsibility. It's Christmas time. Nobody has money to buy another car, and this absolutely wasn't her fault. Now, the water has been restored for several hours now, and I'm told by city officials that the driver whose car got stuck in the sinkhole, they're going to be working with the city attorney to figure out how to fix her car and things of that nature. In Norfolk, I'm Aisha Tolliver. It's on your side.